Hello everybody and welcome to another hobby cheating video and I am really excited about this one. It's a short one but I promise you it's going to be fun. If you know me, you know that I am a huge fan of Vallejo Metal Color. This particular paint I have on screen right now. It's beautiful. It's the perfect acrylic metal color. It is better than any other true metallic acrylic paint. The problem I've always had is that they have no bronze. They have a nice gold and a nice copper, one that's real green, one that's real red. You can mix them together to get nice rich golds and everything in between. But I've always struggled to get a good bronze. So I've been experimenting a bunch and I'm happy to say we finally, finally have a good recipe. So here I've taken some Vallejo Metal Color Silver. Just straight up silver, it's quite neutral. You could also use colors like aluminum, the base aluminum, or pale burnt metal. And I've mixed it at a two to one ratio with drops of Fire Slayer Flesh contrast paint. And at a two to one ratio, you get this nice faded bronze, just like you see here, okay? And at the, and then we're gonna go farther. I'm gonna take it up to a three to one ratio. Actually, I end up putting in one more drop. And if you do a three to one ratio, then what you get is a really, really rich, wonderful, wonderful bronze color, okay? And you can see as I mix that all up, just look at how fantastic that is. Preserves all the intensity because the silver is such a powerful, potent uh, metal color. Preserves all that intensity, all that coverage power, and yet uh, is this wonderful bronze color. So that's just silver in a three to one, or sorry, a Fire Slayer Flesh and silver at a three to one ratio. Three drops of Fire Slayer Flesh for every drop of silver. And I just, I really love how this looks. And as you can see on screen right now, I just, I put up in the corners there some other pictures of bronze, just so you can see how well that actually compares. The other really great part about this particular trick of just these two colors together, just Fire Slayer Flesh and Silver, is that you have everything you need to shade and highlight the metal right there. So I'm just using some of the straight Fire Slayer Flesh and creating my shadows in the metal. And it goes over the existing bronze color quite transparently, of course, because it is a contrast paint. But as it goes over so transparently, it just perfectly looks like these really nice, rich shadows on the, uh, on the existing metal. So you can see you get a nice, deep uh, color there. Now, if I take just the pure silver, hey, you guess what? Mixing that into the ratio, in this case, I'll just use a little pure silver so I can be extreme for the video, but normally I would just, you know, slowly mix it into my other, my other, uh, uh, bronze mix that I have there, you get a perfect highlight color. So with just these two colors, you get everything you need to do the entire ratio, okay? It's such a simple, fast, easy color, and I am, I've, I've tried so many different recipes with Vallejo Metal Color to get a good bronze, and nothing really matched what real bronze looks like. Uh, but this finally nailed it. So I'm gonna show you just very quickly how we take it up all the way. So here it's all dry. You can see how wonderful that Fire Slayer Flesh uh, Pure, you know, creates that nice, really rich shadow. And now I'm gonna take a little bit of blue green. So this is Vallejo model color blue green, uh, which I always use as a starting point for my verdigris. And uh, I'm just hitting some of the rivets some points around like where the metal connects, some cracks, just places where there's going to be oxidation. The reason I start with this is because it's a little more intense. I don't go straight to something like nilic oxide. Now, however, I am gonna go to our old friend nilic oxide. So now once I have the base color down, this is much more runny. I can cover it a little, I can leave a little bit of it in place, and there you go. And you look, look at how amazing that verdigris looks when combined with that combination of Fire Slayer Flesh and Silver with that bronze. I just think it's it's a great combination. So 
there you go. Quick one today, but I hope it helps. Um, I've been searching for the perfect bronze for a long time. This is my new go-to recipe. I think you'll like it too. Give it a like if you do. Subscribe for additional hobby cheating in the future. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to drop those down in the comments below. But as always, I very much appreciate you watching this one, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.